Sometimes in interview, this question will be asked, what is the work done for irreversible process? Or indirectly, uh, they will be asked you this question, what is the work done for reversible process? You would answer W is equal to integral PDB. So, but you need to be certain that this is applicable only for reversible process. So, if the interviewer asks you what, uh, where is this formula applicable, applicable, then you should answer only for reversible process. Then the next question that will be asked is, what is the work done for irreversible process? So, you will be thinking and you will be deriving some equation and let us see that equation now. First, let us understand what is reversible and what is irreversible. Reversible means no friction and other losses. So, frictional losses and uh, any other losses that will be present are does not exist in this case, uh, in this reversible process. That means, in reversible process, if a piston goes from here to here and uh, if you remove the load and it again reaches to its original position, that is called as reversible process. Irreversible process means friction and other losses exist that is called as irreversible. That means, the system does not reach to its original position. Now, in reversible process, equilibrium at each point from initial to final state. If you draw a graph between P and V, so, at this point, the system is in equilibrium, at this point, system equilibrium, at this point, at all the points, the system is in equilibrium up to the final state. This is in case of reversible process. What is equilibrium? Thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermodynamic equilibrium means a system should be in chemical equilibrium, in thermal equilibrium and in mechanical equilibrium. Let us not go deep into this uh, thermodynamic equilibrium. This is the meaning of thermodynamic equilibrium equilibrium. So, in a uh, reversible process, at every point from initial to final state, the system is in equilibrium, but in irreversible, only at initial and final. This is initial, this is final. Suppose that this is initial and this is final. Only at those points, uh, uh, the system is in equilibrium. Reversible process means a slow process. A system is undergoing a slow process, uh, then it can be reversible. It can be reversible, not it is reversible. So, reversible means reversible undergoes in a very slow manner. Irreversible means fast process. So, a slow process can be irreversible, but mostly uh, uh, in, in our world, the processes are very fast and uh, so more irreversibility is present. No process in the world is perfectly reversible. No process in the world is perfectly reversible. We need to try to achieve reversible, but we cannot uh, attain this perfectly reversible. All the processes in the world are irreversible because every process is fast and every process is irreversible. Now, coming to our question, what is the work done in case of irreversible process? Let us derive this first, let us derive this reversible process work. We can understand this, let us take a piston and a cylinder. This is our system. Now, a process uh, is reversible if every point is equilibrium within initial to final state. So, I am dropping a small sandstone and this is filled with gas, small sandstone. So, that this piston comes down to a very little distance. And if I drop another sandstone and again it reaches a very small distance and after 
lot of sandstones are dropped on it it reaches to a final state suppose that this is the final state this is v1 and this is volume v2 now if i drop a little sandstone the force will be very literally increased that means the external force is equal to the internal uh, the external force will be more than the internal force with a small amount df so this this is the very small uh, very small uh, the sand particle will be negligible weight but if you add more negligible weights of this sandstone that will be a comparable one but we are considering only from mini state uh, we can say that mini state so there is uh, not so variation so df will be zero and also dividing this with area we will be getting p external is equal to p internal so this is in case of reversible process so reversible means equilibrium at every point that means if you drop a sandstone this uh, initially this was in equilibrium after dropping the stands, sandstone the gas pressure the uh, the p internal uh, acquires this p external and uh, that will be in equilibrium that means this is p this is v and uh, this is the initial state if you drop a small sandstone it reaches this point so it develops uh, uh, the pressure of the gas is developed such that p external is equal to p internal so that uh, this will be in equilibrium likewise uh, if you drop another sandstone again uh, p external is increased and uh, p internal uh, develops uh, until it reaches p external and uh, it will be in equilibrium again another sandstone like that up to here the sandstones are dropped so now let us derive the work done work done is equal to force into force into change in displacement so this is the differential work done if you integrate it you will be getting total work done so force is what is the force this is external one force external means here you can write force external into ds ds means uh, suppose uh, let us say the small distance for this differential change is dl so into dl now force external means p external into area into dl so that is equal to integral p external into area into dl this will be differential volume so for small change uh, this is the small volume change now from where to where we need to integrate v1 to v2 initial to final so this is the work done in case of reversible process but generally all the processes in a thermodynamics that we deal with are reversible process so now work done is equal to and we take p we do not take this p external we take this p internal p internal dv this is the formula that is used in our thermodynamic subject so this is the work done in case of reversible process why did we take p external is equal to p internal p external is equal to p internal p external is equal to p internal plus dp this is in case of compression but dp is very small such that uh, this is because uh, uh, there are infinite states uh, between initial state and final state so this will be zero now p external is equal to p internal minus dv in case of expansion so in both the cases in reversible process this uh, dp and dp are zero 
that's why p external is equal to p internal now let us see for irreversible process this is our actual question irreversible process work done so in irreversible process directly this is the piston and a large weight is added suddenly so large weight is added suddenly so that this piston goes down up to a point this is m mass m this piston goes down up to a point such that this is the p external okay this is the p internal so here p external is not equal to p internal at initial state but there is a stopping of piston such that p internal equals to p external so that equilibrium is attained so before loading p external is equal to p internal and uh, that is in equilibrium state after loading it is not in equilibrium state but it is in equilibrium state when p internal reaches p external so it develops uh, the p the gas develops internal pressure gradually from uh, normal pressure to the p external pressure so now work done is equal to force external into dl so force external means p external into area into dl so here we do not consider this dl sorry not uh, it's not like that p external into dv now p external is a constant one this is because only this mass is added and uh, no other things uh, are added on it so p external will be constant so p external is constant integral v1 to v2 dv so p external into v2 minus v1 or p external into delta v so this is the work done in case of irreversible process we do not take this p external p internal this is because p internal uh, changes from this point to this point so p internal is changing but p external is not changing so this is the formula for work done in case of irreversible process in case of reversible sandstones are added from one state to another state but in case of a reversible ir irreversible uh, directly only uh, one external force is added so that's why p external is was changing in reversible process but in case of irreversible one p external is constant uh, throughout the process but p internal is changing so w is equal to integral v1 to v2 p dv this is for reversible and w is equal to p external into delta v this is for irreversible so this may be external or this may be internal this is the answer for the interviewer question